Hello guys and welcome back to the crazy Minecraft video where today Marco Friendly Zombie has gone ahead and sent us to this wonderful zoo. We have a feeling the villagers need our help in going ahead and spawning loads of Alex mobs, but they have no idea how to do it. So let's go see what's inside the chest and hopefully we can figure it all out together. Now they have given us quite a few. So we've got one chest full of all the water creatures and then another one with all the land creatures. I think this is going to be great. Well, let's go see what this book says and hopefully we can figure out what we need to do. Hello Navid, I am really glad you have come to help us spawn all these Alex mobs. We are worried some could be dangerous. Figure it out which ones we can keep without harming any of our villagers. Of course, I would love to. Well, do you know what? Let me go ahead and put this back and let's see what mobs we have. I might actually go ahead and start with our water creatures and we can figure out if every single one of them are really friendly. Well, let's go and do this and hopefully we can do it as fast as we can. I'm going to jump inside and perfect and let me go and spawn our first one which is going to be the hammerhead shark. Whoa, there he is and he's coming straight for us. <laughs> We're going to have to swim away as fast as we can. I'm a little bit scared though that maybe this shark might go ahead and try and spook us. Maybe we can spawn some friends with him. Let me go ahead and do our crocodile right around here and good. <laughs> And let's try and get away from this guy as well. This is going to be the most dangerous tank I have ever been in. And I think the crocodile is coming straight for us. Okay, I think we're all good for now. Let me go in and spawn our catch a lot well right around here. Whoa! And look how massive it is. This guy is going to fill up this whole tank. I am so glad though that we have enough space for every single one of them. I can still see the crocodile is trying to get our scent. Let's be really cautious right now. Let me also go ahead and spawn our mimic octopus. Oh, look how cute it is. It will go ahead and change colors depending on what blocks are right underneath it. So if it sees maybe a different block, it will go ahead and morph into it. This is so cool. Okay, do you know what? I'm going to try and get out of here and let me try and spawn these creatures as fast as we can. I think the whale is trying to protect us. What's happened? Is something wrong? Okay, let's try and get out of here as fast as we can. And let me go ahead and spawn our frill shark. There we go. And perfect. Oh, look at it. <laughs> And I think the whale is not very pleased with this. Oh, it's trying to get out of here. Let me go and do our mantis shrimp right around here. Cool. Now, I'm not really sure what to expect from this creature. So let's keep an eye on it. And let's also jump back in and let's do our orca. There we go. I knew this would work. This is exactly what I want to see. But I do think that mantis shrimp is getting really mad. <laughs> Everyone, be really careful. There are well too many dangerous creatures in here. And we've still got so many more to go ahead and do. Let me spawn our lobster right around here. And there we go. It'll make his way down to the bottom. And I think the orca is going straight after it. Let me do our cosmic cod right around here. Oh, it's just teleported. What a weird creature. How did the villagers get these ones? Okay, something just died. Oh, it's the orca. Cool. Okay, can we ride it? Sometimes you can actually ride some of these creatures if you get the right saddle. So let me just go ahead and spawn our seal that I'm going to spawn right around here. There we go. I knew he would like the land. This guy is going to go ahead and fall asleep really quick. How about we go and do our comb jelly right around here. There we go. As well as our strad pole <laughs> that I think is falling straight down to the bottom. Also our platypus right around here. And then we've also got our blue jay. This is going to be so awesome. Now, I do know we have an alligator snapping turtle, which I don't think actually wants to be by the water. So let me spawn in by this little sandbank around here, and this should be great. There we go. And then we can also go ahead and spawn our little seagull, and perfect, as well as our blue jay right around here. And these guys will make this whole biome so much better. Let's just take out the last few that we have, and hopefully this can work. What was that? Can you guys hear that? I think there are some creatures that we're not supposed to have around here. Let me go and do our blobfish right around here. And perfect. Let's push him in the water. <laughs> and then our catfish. Let's push this guy in the water as well. And then we've also got our flying fish. Let's push him in. Come on. No, quickly before he dies. There we go. And you'll go ahead and fly around and keep everyone really busy. There he goes. <laughs> this is so cool. Let's do our straddler right around here. Oh, definitely not friendly. What is that thing? Okay, I have no idea what's going on. It's going ahead and shooting blobfishes at us. How about we do our giant squid and then that'll be the last of them. There we go. Hopefully now we can get out of here. Oh, has it got us? Oh, I think the whale has gone ahead and eaten him that quick. 
<laughs> oh, look how hungry he is. Okay, maybe we should try and get out of here as fast as we can. I'm a little bit scared right now. And we've also got our straddler who's throwing loads of blocks at us. These blobfishes are going to be really annoying. Okay, let's try and get out of here as fast as we can. Let's take out the rest of our items and hopefully this can work out for us. I'm a little bit scared though that every single one won't even fit in inside our inventory. So let me just take out as many as we can. There we go. I'll be right back, villagers. <laughs> our straddler is getting really annoyed right now and he's fighting against the mantis shrimp. Ah, he didn't even make it. Hey, let's get out of here. Okay, I'm going to rush over to a new spot. And let me start off with our grizzly bear. I might spawn them randomly. Huh. Villagers, what do you guys think? Should I just spawn huh. them around randomly? Or is there like a right spot to go ahead and put huh. them? Maybe if we travel around, we might be able to figure this out. So let me jump right in here. And perfect. Oh, I think this is for pandas. So this might be a good spot for our grizzly bear. And perfect. And then maybe another one. Hey, stop it. Grizzly bear. No. <laughs> oh, it instantly killed us. Oh, this is awful. Well, maybe we keep on going. We should be able to avoid him next time. Villagers, don't go near that one over there. It's really dangerous. And you can see some other villagers have gone ahead and jumped inside the little cages. This is not going to be good. Villager, what are you doing inside? This is where I need to spawn all the monsters. Let me go ahead and spawn our leaf cutter right around here. And then we've also got, let's do our kangaroo. Oh, and look how awesome it is. This is going to be so amazing. I am so excited for these. We've also got our moose. And perfect. And then we're also going to go ahead and spawn our emu. There we go. All of these guys together are going to be so nice. Should we spawn a dangerous creature and see what happens? Let me spawn my tiger. There we go. Whoa, look at him. Oh, is he sleeping? Hey, or is he trying to hide? Oh, he was trying to hide and hunt us. No, <laughs> get off me. This is not going to be good. Oh, what an awful day. We have died well too many times. But you know what? Let me take out the rest of our spawners and let's go and do this. Okay, so we got our orca. And I think our well has died as well. Oh, this is awful. Okay, let's try and get out of here. This is going to be well too sad. We've spawned so many creatures and very few of them have made it. Let me find a new biome right around here. I think this is going to be a great spot. And maybe we can spawn some friendly ones. Let me go and spawn our elephant right in the middle. So whenever all the villagers want to ride it, they can go ahead, ride up to it, and they can feed it. I think that's a great idea. Let me also do our gelada monkey that can go ahead and use the minecart system to pretty much roam around. There we go. <laughs> okay, not friendly either, I don't think. I think he might be getting mad. How about we spawn our mud skipper? There we go. And then our caiman. Oh, okay. Hopefully he goes towards the water and leaves us all alone. Yep, I think we're good for now. Let's get out of it quickly. And let me go and spawn maybe our anaconda and our gorilla in some other spots. Oh, in here. Perfect. Okay, let me go and do this. So we've got our gorilla as well as our anaconda. And both of them together could be a very good match. But let me take out some more spawners. Uh-oh. It's coming right towards us. Villagers, get out of here. It's not going to be good. It's strangling us. This is exactly what we don't want right now. Get away, villagers. Run. Ah, oh, what a crazy day. Maybe if we spawn some other creatures, they can go ahead and distract them so all the villagers can make it out. Let me spawn our gazelle right around here, as well as our shoebill. And perfect. And then we've also got our anteater. There we go. All of these creatures are really friendly and they won't attack our villagers. And then, let me also do our murmur. Huh? What is that? This is not what I want it to be. Ah! Run! <laughs> okay, let's get out of here. Villagers, why did you give me that spawner? It's well too dangerous. And it's coming straight towards us. Um, can I hit it back? Okay. It seems like it's some sort of creature to go ahead and keep all the animals tamed. Okay, let's get out of here. I don't want to be part of that. Let me spawn inside our farm, maybe our raccoon. So let me go right around here, and perfect. And let me spawn our raccoon inside this next little biome. So we've got our raccoon, as well as our leviathan. Huh? What is that? Okay, that doesn't belong in our zoo. How about we go ahead? Ah, oh, it's trying to sit on me. <laughs> maybe it's because I'm really warm. Let's also go ahead and do our jerboa right around here. And then I've also got our bison and then our Tasmanian devil. Hey, bison, don't do this. It's not good for us. 
I think every single animal is just really scary. Every single one wants to attack us. Look, if we get a little bit closer, and he'll just go ahead and try and fight us. Can I ride him though? Nope! <laughs> I'm trying to ride him, and it's not going to work. Okay, let's not give up right now, and let's try and avoid the creatures from before. Okay, I think we're good. Quickly, let's sneak around. Hopefully, we can make it around this zoo without anything trying to destroy us. Now, thankfully, we don't have anything to tame and feed these animals just yet. But maybe very soon, the villagers will give us enough spawners so we can go ahead and do it. So let me take out a whole new row of items, and let's see what we've got. I'm going to go ahead, and let's do... Let's try and get inside here, and let's make sure this works. Um, oh, here we go. So we jump up here, and good, and let's go and do this. Let me do my crow right around here, as well as our rattlesnake, our skunk, there we go, and then our terrapin, cool, and then our sunbird, what? What is that? Maybe it's because we don't have enough birds, they've just gone ahead and added a few different ones. We've also got our tussling, which is going to be so cute, <laughs> run, it's going to try and attack us this whole time, this is not going to be great. And surprisingly, he's actually catching up to us. We won't be able to attack him. Maybe we spawn someone else to go ahead and fight him back. Ah, oh, what a crazy day. Well, we've never actually tried to go straight through. So let me try and do this as fast as we can. Villagers, I have spawned so many Alex mobs that as of right now, I'm just so surprised. Ah, oh, here are all the villagers. Let me spawn some items for them. Let me do our rhinoceros. And there we go. Whoa, and look how big he is. And he is so muscular. Let's also do, let's see what else we have. Hopefully we can spawn some that are really friendly. Let me do our hummingbird. And perfect, as well as our fly. <laughs> and there we go. And let's also do our toucan. And then we've also got our, let's see, our capuchin monkey. There we go, and as he runs off. And then we've also got, oh, all the rest are very dangerous. Let's do our sugar glider. There we go. This guy will climb up really high and glide down as we go along. And then maybe the rest of these creatures we can spawn as fast as we can away from all of these villagers. Quickly, let's go and do it in a brand new spot. Um, let me see. Ah, this is the perfect spot for them. Let me do our tarantula hawk right around there. And then our roadrunner. And then also we've got our bald eagle. And perfect. And I hope that they won't attack us. Stay very quiet. We should be able to avoid them. And we've also got our maned wolf, and then our Komodo dragon, and then our snow leopard. There we go. No, they're attacking each other. This is not what I wanted. Snow leopard, I just spawned you. Leave us alone. <laughs> okay, let's get out of it before something really dangerous happens. Well, guys, I'm hoping all the villagers will be really happy with how many monsters we've spawned today. I think they're all trying to avoid us, though, which is not good for us. I think they're all trying to get involved with the farming to make sure all these animals in the zoo are completely fed and then hopefully be taken care of. So guys, I will see you soon with a crazy Minecraft video. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe down below button is red, and don't forget to go ahead and press notifications bell. And guys, I'll see you all very soon. Peace out. Hmm, where's the exit?